Hey, this is Chris Menard. Uh, Zoom has a cool feature called a virtual video background. By default, you only get two videos in it. One's of the beach and one's something else. Christian uh, has been working with me for years. Uh, Christian's over in the UK. I'm in the US. Christian does a lot of recordings with his video camera. He does my website. Uh, he works full time doing something else. Uh, but he does my website. He does my YouTube channel. He's going to provide everyone some free backgrounds. We're going to put them on my website and you can use them for free for your virtual video background in Zoom. And I'm hoping he joins the meeting in just a second. It is a Saturday. So if this video has any mistakes, just let it go. It's almost kind of a behind the scenes video. I believe Christian is joining us now. Hey, <laughs> hey hello. You all right. Yeah. Hello. All right. I'm recording already. So okay um hopefully this works and if not oh well right <laughs> ah, no problem we'll, we'll figure it out exactly so um i appreciate you doing this so yeah, I've, no already, I've already ran through and explained that zoom has the virtual video background you can just share and show us what you have then yeah all right uh let me share my screen and you're over in uh uk right okay you see my screen now I see. Yes, you're good okay. to go. You're on a Mac. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm on a Mac. I'm doing some uh, looping videos for Zoom backgrounds, virtual backgrounds, I think they're called. And I've got quite a few here. Uh, my favorite is this warm sunset. I don't know if you see this. We do. Um, I can play this now. Let's see. It's kind of very still. Um, the, the point with these virtual backgrounds is they have to be kind of non-distracting, so they can be too much movement. Um, so I've got one of a brook here. Just, well, that's nice. Let's go in there and I've got one of the London skyline. This is actually panning, so it might be a bit distracting. I don't know. So yeah, this kind of thing. It has to be an HD format. It can be 4K or very large because you know it needs to down sample it quite quite fast. Do you so, know? Do you know if Zoom has specifications on how um, large the video has to be? Is yeah, there has to be. There's a help page about virtual backgrounds. You can you can look at, and um, they do say that the video has to be HD, so 1920 by 1080, and um, I don't think they say anything about the size of the, the actual file or the length of the video. So as long as it's, uh, you know, kind of looping seamlessly, it's, it should be good to go for that MP4 or MOV. I think it needs to be so. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what, what else do you have? Got a castle got, or anything? This, oh, a bird. Yeah. That's good. Very still one of a bird in a tree and I've got uh, one of ducks in a pond. And, you know, here's one that you see a lot in my region here. There's a field with sheep in it. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously not, uh, that's obviously not the U.S. over here. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've got, I've got quite a few. We will offer these as a download. Um, that's really nice, by the way, right there. Yeah, yeah, this is one from the zoo, flamingos, just hanging around. <laughs> you got any, uh, I know you're in the U.K., anything from France, though? Yeah, I've got one of a French village here. Um, this is not yet edited, nice. so I'm going to have to saturate and stabilize it. it. Okay. Play this is quite a nice, um, you know, it's not very long though, but, um, I can actually slow it down to make it longer. I can maybe make it like 50% the speed. So, um, that actually makes it double in length. Okay. Cause, um, that's one, one thing you can do if, if the video is kind of moving a lot, maybe you want to make it longer, you can slow it down in Premiere. So when I export it, it's going to be quite long. And if uh, you're still not happy, you can, you can actually copy that, duplicate it, and then you, you can reverse it like that. So when it comes into the other one, it kind of starts going backwards. Okay. So, don't actually okay. notice when it does that. So, uh, yeah, see, look, 29 right. seconds almost. There you go. It's probably about the right yeah. length anyway. You have a, yeah. uh, where, where's the castle you showed me earlier? If you don't mind, that was, uh, uh this, this, uh, castle in, is in the South of France. Okay. 
Uh, I was there recently, so I kind of took a, a little um, trip. Uh, this is one oh. I love. This is by the shore. Yeah, I like that. Down, down of a cliff. It's quite nice, this one. All right. So we're, we're going to put these on my website, let people download them for free. And yep, they can use sure. them in Zoom for their yep. virtual video background, which everyone is asking me about right now with uh, COVID-19 going on. Everyone, I guess, is working remotely and having school remotely. and Yeah. Very will, nice. Uh, I'll prepare them so they should be ready to go. You just uh, load them up. All right. Hey, this is great. It really is. This is going to be cool because people keep saying, hey, where can I get more videos from? And I yeah, yeah. you are the person to call. I thought maybe I should make a, a few tutorials on how to make your own <laughs> if you have. No, that would you know. actually be good. In fact, uh, if someone sees this on YouTube and you want to know that, comment in the box below and we'll do something with Adobe Premiere. Cool. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. I get this question a lot. You have a Mac. Yeah. Uh, and Zoom has specifications for when you can do a virtual video background. Can you show me where I see what your processor is? Because I have yeah. no clue about the Mac. Yeah. If you're on a Mac and uh, Zoom says that your processor needs to be i5, uh, I think sixth generation and, and, and later, or i7, uh, sixth generation uh, or later. So, to check that, I don't think it tells you the generation though, but if you go to the Mac menu on the top left, there's that Apple thing mm -hmm. and you've got about this Mac. If you click okay. on that, it should bring up your, your uh, system information and here it should say the processor. This one is an i9. Oh, you so, got an i9, okay. Yeah, this is the last gen latest one, 2019. So I guess, you know, it tells you the, the year. So then you can deduct that it's, you know, how recent it is or not. So, right, okay. Uh, yeah. Very good. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Hey, I'll talk to you later today.